Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at how to set up the auto leveling on the BiQ Delta printer that we unboxed a little while ago. So, a little bit interesting. It has this uh, uh, strain sensor of sorts that actually mounts to the hot end and uh, goes down and touches the bed. But how do you set this up? So we got a little bit of instructions here. Now one of the things to start off with is they give us four of these pads. Now the idea is what happens is this goes around your hot end, so do not heat up your hot end. And then this pad holds this sensor on the end and connects it. Now we'll go over to the printer in a minute, but I just want to show this assembly. The other thing that this points out is that it says lower side with characters. The only place I can find characters is actually on the uh, connector itself. So I'm going to place this down and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove one of these and pop it out of here. And one of the things I'm going to have to do is remove the center piece from here. So I'm just going to kind of try to poke out the center piece. There we go. So the center piece is removed. And then what we're going to want to do is, again, make sure that the characters are down. They are. And then we're going to want to center this so that the uh, this little pad is in the center here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And boom, Bob's your uncle. And so this is set on there. Now the general idea is, again, this goes, is held in place um, by the hot end itself, the nozzle, and this connects to the two pin connector that's on the hot end. So tell you what, let's head over to the printer, let's set it up and see how it all works. So, okay, we're back here at the printer. We have the uh, strain sensor. Now what we're gonna do is plug this into the two, two pin, and I'll get some overlay shots of this. This kind of clips on there. And what this does, is again just presses on here and um, as I kind of figured it really doesn't want to stay on there okay that took a little work to get on there I'm not sure let's um not sure how well you can see that now I'm going to go ahead and activate the power Oh, one of the other things, make sure you remove the protective cover from the bed. There's a uh, real thin plastic cover that goes on here you need to remove. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the leveling button. And it's going to go ahead and do its thing. Now, one of the things, notice the... Uh, notice how many touch points it does on the bed to come up with the level. Definitely not three, folks. All right, so it's completed its level, and it's now moved itself up to a safe Z position uh, up here, as you can see. So what we're now going to do is I'm going to turn the power off, and I'm going to remove the uh, um, unit and pop it off. Now we should be actually good to go print. Okay, so we're back at the bench, and uh, as you can see up in the corner, it's printing. It works. So um, I was actually pleased at how well this stayed on. It stayed on better than I expected. Took a little bit to get on there, but uh, not a problem. Wish it was a little bit clearer, but however, it does seem that these are the characters they're talking about. And it does go in this fashion with these characters facing down when you put this uh, sensor on. You can see the sensor is kind of pressed in here. I don't know. I'll see if I can zoom in. So it's made some pretty good contact on this uh, uh, pressure pad of sorts. And so I don't know if it's reading a resistive uh, pressure or just, you know, uh, uh, you know, on or off. So don't know about that. Something maybe I'll experiment with in the future. Um, I'm going to have to check to see. I do consider this a little bit consumable because after a certain time this probably will wear out. I'm not sure because these are, you know, the first prints I'm doing uh, with this. You probably noticed from the setup I've done this before, so I wanted to go through, do it, see how it worked, and then before I created the video. Uh, so I don't think you need to do this very often, and so I think after you make changes or adjustments to the printer, you may want to go through and do this. So this will probably last a fair number of times, but, um, you know, if you're a heavy user, 
probably will wear out quicker. I don't know if you could do a paper level on this or not. Um, something I'll experiment with. If somebody else has one down there, please comment below. I'd be interested to hear. But anyway, so far so good with this. And hopefully this uh, this is rather interesting and you, you learned something new or you found this interesting. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit me up in the comments below. Swag shop up there. Subscribe over there. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel. Don't